Hello there. I'm Charles CNN Mabikam and I am Zimbabwe's leading commentator for uh, soccer. Uh, I have been that for many, many years. I uh, have been involved uh, in uh, the nation's number one sport. Uh, in actual fact, you can say I drink soccer, I sleep soccer, I breathe soccer, and I talk soccer. Everything about me is about soccer. Born and bred in Mbare many years ago, Mabika attended Chirozo Primary School before moving to Goromonzi High School to do his secondary education. In, in our family, uh, I have a sister, uh, my eldest sister, the eldest of the family is Irene. She's still in Harare here. Uh, she's, a, uh, she's a nursing sister by profession and she stays in, in Mabuku, in the high density suburb of Mabuku. I'm the second born. Uh, that's me, CNN child. And the third born uh, was my, she's late now. Her name was Angela. And she, she was actually a soccer player as well, you know? Uh, she used to, in the, uh, the formative years of, uh, of women's soccer, uh, she was playing uh, a foot, she was turning out for uh, Dynamo Queen. Oh. Uh, that's yeah, who she used to play for. She's, she's, she's late now. And then after Angela, uh, another sister, Marceline, uh, she's, still alive. she's still alive, she stays in Norton. And then after that, uh, my younger brother, Nigel, he's still alive, he stays uh, in Neberain. And uh, our last born is Gamuchirai, uh, she, she is married, she stays in the high density suburb of Mbari. So uh, that's uh, our family day. Well, uh, I uh, grew up uh, in the high density suburb of Mbare where I was born. I was born at Harare General Hospital and uh, grew up uh, uh, in Mbare, like I said. Uh, attended uh, Chirozo Primary School, that's in Mbare. It was just a stone to throw away from uh, uh, where uh, we resided. And uh, I fell in love with soccer at that very, very early age. I think from, from when I was in grade one, or even before, before grade one. And uh, street soccer was uh, the name of the game. During his primary school days, Chaos used to feature in his school team lineup, thanks to his best friend, Stanley Sticks Mutizwa, who used to refuse to be part of the team if Chaos was not included on the team sheet. Soccer was my life. And uh, I also grew up with uh, my close friend, my closest friend, he's still my closest, my closest friend, uh, the great Stanford Sticks Mutizwa, uh, the former Zimbabwe Warriors captain. I mean, for me, for me, he is the finest attacking midfielder ever produced in the country. I mean, Sticks could do things with the ball when we were at primary school, you know, what we call ups. I think that the youngsters of today still do that. You get a tennis ball, get a tennis ball, and you try and uh, make sure it doesn't get onto the ground, and you just stay with it. And most of us would, would go to a maximum of 20, 25, but Sticks, Sticks would go to a maximum of 100, 150, until we, to we, we told him to stop. He would go right, left right left and most of us could only do it with uh, one leg but anyway um, we were in the same uh, primary school team with sticks I was not as good as anyway near as good as Sticks. his love for football at this tender age would always make him get into trouble with his mother and I used to get in trouble with my mom and uh, she always uh, was scolding me because uh, I didn't have time to eat I didn't have time to bath. I didn't have time for anything. And she used to, you know, to, to scold me to say, why are you always, I always tell you, you must watch a bath first before you go to play soccer and then have something to eat before you go to play soccer. And so I was in trouble, uh, but uh, a very loving mom. She is still alive, uh, my mother. And uh, she, I think mean, she realized that uh, soccer was my life. At Goromonzi High School, Charles tried his luck as a goalkeeper, but still he was never a regular first team feature. As such, when he was not on the team sheet, Charles would go to the terraces and do commentary. My academic uh, interest as well 
was, uh, I think, perhaps greater than soccer. Although I was in love with soccer, I was, uh, I think I tended, maybe it was uh, realizing that could I ever be as good as uh, the likes of Stanford Six Montezwa? And, uh, and I think it dawned on me that no. So I, I chose uh, to perhaps pursue uh, the academic procession, and I did that. Uh, after Chirozo Primary School, I left, uh, I went to boarding school. Um, I think uh, it was because of soccer as well. My, I was still interested in soccer, I was still playing soccer. I think my mom and dad felt that I think maybe I needed to go to boarding school so that I could concentrate a little bit more on my academic studies. And I think it was uh, the right decision. I went to Goromonzi uh, High School uh, for my secondary and high school and soccer was still in with me. Yes, I was in the school team. Uh, I even I even tried my hand at being a goalkeeper. And I actually did well. Uh, I was the, 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 the penalty stopper uh, at Gormonzi High School. Uh, but that was in and in and out. I wasn't a regular for the team. I'm gonna confess, I was not a regular. So the time that I was not in the uh, school's first team, uh, I would now uh, go uh, in, the, in the terraces and start doing commentary. Oh. Yes, uh, at Goromonzi High School. And, and people used to flock around me, all the boys and girls would flock around me. And those days, um, we were listening to the vernacular commentaries of uh, the late, great Jonathan Mutsinti. Uh, and then uh, uh, later on, uh, Miss Ben Nasa Sarah. Mabika is inspired by many in life. However, it is at this same school, Goromonzi, where his English teacher, Gillian Craig, encouraged him to measure his good English with his love for sports. I was more of an art, of an art student because my favorite language was English, the English language. Uh, I used to be top of the class all the time. And um, I think my, my, my first inspiration there my, uh, at high school was um, a teacher called Gillian Craig. Uh, she was an expatriate, she had come from the UK, and uh, she, she shared a passion uh, about football. With me. She, was, uh, she was a Liverpool supporter, and she came from Liverpool, and she used to come and, and tell me stories about Liverpool and so on and so on. And uh, I think she was my first inspiration, she said, why don't you try and marry this English language the way you're so good at with your football interest. And, and I followed that, uh, that advice from, uh, from William Craig. Uh, so uh, I then, after high school, uh, I then, I think, took a break from, from being involved with football as I enrolled uh, for, and I was also interested, I must say, in the print and electronic journalism. Right? So I, I, I enrolled through the City and Guilds uh, London Institute where I acquired uh, my print media procedures diploma and also uh, with the City and Guilds London Institute um, I acquired my English communications degree. Uh, so I married that but football, football was still my life. Experience is the best teacher. Old eyes see the best. According to Charles CNN Mabika, George Shire is the greatest player to ever come from the great house of stones, Zimbabwe. What I love about uh, uh, the soccer uh, commentary or the soccer involvement that I have been for such a long, long time is that some people actually accuse me of being a Highlander supporter. Some people accuse me of being a Dynamo supporter. Some people reckon I'm a Caps United supporter. Uh, so I think it augurs well. It augurs well because then that shows I'm impartial. So uh, to be quite honest, I don't have a particular team here in Zimbabwe that I follow. Uh, because I, I have a lot of favorites in the various teams from long time. 
like like uh, at uh, at Caps United there was a Stanford Stickman is my 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 great friend there was Joel Jubilee Shambo the late and at Dynamo those days uh, Edward Kacher whom we grew up with as well Jaffet Muparza uh, Jaffet uh, was uh, at uh, Chitere Primary School where uh, he started his goalkeeping days so those uh, guys like the guys who I grew up with and I, I, I had favorites and later on in Dynamo's uh, uh, my, my great friend nowadays is Bambo Moses Chunga he was playing for Dynamo's and uh, and at, at Highland uh, Martin Dandlovu and uh, Mercedes Sebanda the, the, the late was favorite and even up to now the great Nsukuzonke Peter Dandlovu Alexander Maseko I had uh, great uh, uh, favorite players then and at uh, Zimbabwe Saints, there was the great William Sabanda, uh, I think one of the finest ever midfielders, the late. Um, he, was, he was nicknamed Urr from, from William Sabanda. And of course, uh, I, I, I reckon the, the, the finest player I've ever watched is the mastermind, George Shire, the little mastermind. Now, when I was, you know, at school, at primary school, at, at, at high school, and our school used to come and uh, get us to, to watch the various cup finals, uh, Dynamos versus Highlanders, Kedia United versus Chibuku Shumba, and so But I, I think that uh, Shaya, for me, he is the finest ever player. A great football analyst and a commentator par excellence. Charles walked in both pathways of great happiness and sadness. His beloved team, the Warriors of Zimbabwe, have always been a source of pain in his heart. Warriors, so, can I just tell you, so, in the noise, so, when those are, you know, you know, I go back to the game that we played against Congo, uh, Congo uh, Brazzaville at the National Sports Stadium. Uh, back in 1991, uh, it was an Afghan qualifier, and uh, we we were almost close to making our made an appearance at the African Cup of Nations in Tunisia in 1992, and uh, we were leading Congo two minutes into injury time, and I was doing commentary, and and I was like, yes, I think now we we, we will do it right at this time we will go to Tunisia, and then that moment arrived when Congo got their equalizer. And John Sibanda, our goalkeeper, may he so continue to rest in peace. I don't know what, what happened there. Uh, he had the ball here, and, and, and somehow, it just slipped, and it went behind the line. 2-2. Two, two. And virtually, we were out of the reckoning. Because if we had beaten Congo, uh, we, we were almost there. I think we, we were set. Uh, uh, to meet Malawi, and, and I think we just need to draw or something, and we, we would go, we would go there, but uh, that draw against Congo, we were out of the 1992 Afghan final. And you know what? I remember that game, when that goal went in, I slumped on the floor of the commentary box at the National Sports Stadium. This was radio, this was radio commentary, and I cried. And I remember saying something like, oh, John Sibanda could not hold on to the ball. I don't know how even a two-month-old baby could have held on to that ball, but I don't know what happened. And I was crying. And that game, I think, will, will go down in my life as the saddest game ever uh, for me uh, watching the Warriors. After attaining high school education, Mabika went on to acquire qualifications in media and he was once employed by the Zim Papers stable as a sports writer before joining the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation. And then an opportunity came. After Tommy Ballantyne uh, moved to, to television uh, for, for, for that, uh, TV, uh, there was already a, a, a commentator who was there, very popular then, uh, Ivan Mambara. Is late, and uh, they uh, ZBC then advertised uh, that they were looking for a commentator to join Ivan Zambara to make it a duo. And I and I saw this as, a, as, as an opportune moment. And that time, I was then employed by Zimpe, the Zimbabwean newspapers, 
and uh, it was then that I, I, I met another great inspiration uh, for me, uh, the late uh, Alan Thatchwire, uh, a founder member of, of Dynamo, and then he, he was a teacher by profession, and then later on he went into journalism and became the chief writer, the chief soccer writer for the Herald. Yeah. And uh, I used to follow, when I was at school, I used to follow his uh, writings, uh, the, the, that inspired me. And I said, I want to be like uh, this man here. And it was a chance. Uh, you know, when I met him for the first time at Zimbabwe newspapers, I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe it. He was, uh, you know, a man who, up to this day, I, I think this guy is, uh, for me, the, the, the finest the soccer writer. Joining the state broadcaster as a sportscaster was not a walk in the park. He had to win battles before he could be certified to be won. There was an elder, uh, used to call him Mukoma, Rukumara uh, Nkwebe. I know he's still alive now. I know he's Kuda Pondai. I got a, I got a Mnapil, I got a Mnamuka. I was on the Tora, I was on the Tora. I think it's So when this opportunity came uh, that uh, ZBC were looking for a commentator uh, to partner Evans Mambara where they already I think started making his name then. and uh, I, I went in and you know what? I arrived at, uh, at Pocket Field. There were 120 buddy commentators there. And I almost turned away. It did not been for the fact that my dad had actually dropped me off in his car and driven away and, and said uh, he would be coming to fetch me much, much later at the end of the day. Otherwise, if I hadn't got out of this car, <laughs> I would have, you know, just seeing this, all these people. And I said, there's no way that I... They were looking for one guy out of 120 to join the Mambara. So I said, and, and you know how it is. Uh, a lot of people already there were saying, oh, no, I see, I've, I've done this, uh, I'm good. And people were mimicking their sort of different uh, uh, commentators and so on. Some were doing it in short time. And I just kept quiet because I didn't think I'd do it. So when the first audition came, the first audition was just to introduce yourself and uh, talk about your interest in football. And uh, they said, then the, the man who was doing the, the audition is late now. He was the then editor, the sports editor of Radio One, uh, Radio One, which is classic 263 now. Uh, his name was Brighton Matawere. Another great influence for me. And uh, he said, right, you're 120, I don't want to cut, uh, I want to cut straight to the chase. Out of these 120, out of you 120, you want 10. Then after 10, we will go for it. And, and I looked and I said, no, nah, there's no way I'm going to make it. So, we, we did our thing, uh, I'm so, so, I'm South Africa, I love football, da, 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 da. And when, after 30 minutes, the names were called out, and I was actually the last one <laughs> of the 10. <laughs> because I was saying, oh, that's it, I'm going. And I made it into the 10. Then after that, I then said, right, you guys, what we're going to do, we're going to drive to Zimbabwe ground, uh, where you must just practice a mock comedy. Uh, just picture any team that you want, because uh, that's what you're going to do. And there were still all these you know, big mouth guys who were big. Because I can't remember his name now. <laughs> so he, then he said, out of you 10 guys, we're going to choose one. So we went to Zimbabwe ground in Haifa, in Haifa, in the of Haifa. And there were the 10 of us. And everybody was given a turn. But was given a turn. Uh, my chance came, I think I was the, the fifth one. And I did my thing. And I just pictured a game involving dynamos and highlights. Because for me, up to this day, this is the, 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 the epic showdown 
of any Zimbabwe uh, football game. And that's what I pictured, you know, the uh, dynamos of this island. And I did my commentary. And then after that, we they came back with us. Uh, to, we, we had been the, we were at, at the back of the van. He said, this is on the drop. Because my, my dad came to pick me up. And uh, he, he asked me what I thought. And I said, ah, yes, I made it to the last 10, but I don't think I'm going to make it. He said, no, don't worry, don't worry. It was two weeks of waiting, an agonizing wait. Until the phone rang, I was at home in the high density hub above Mbari. I was at home, and my mom picked up the phone. And there was, um, I think, I still remember the lady's name. She was uh, the, the the secretary at Radio One. Her name was Moduina. I still remember. And she she talked to my mom and asked if I was there. And, and luckily I was there. And I came and I, and I said hello. This is, this is Charles. And said, hi Charles, this is Modrina. And my, my heart was pumping. My, my heart was pumping. And she said, Charles, congratulations. You made it. You, you are invited to come and talk uh, to the bosses here at ZBC. I did not reply. I couldn't reply, Modrina. She said, Charles, are you there? I couldn't. And she just, she laughed. She laughed and she cut the phone. And my mom came. And I'll